I'm Reese Stein, at your leisure on Antelope Island, one of Utah's great wildlife preserves, but it's getting so good it's almost too good for its own good. Well, we've counted it, the deer out on the island and we've got around six to eight hundred deer. Our objective is to have 350. Because most of Antelope Island is vehicle free with very little hunting, the wildlife, including deer, do very well here. Oh yeah, it's a great place. I mean, there's a lot of wildlife out here. The deer have done really well. There's some antelope out here that have done well. Of course, they have the bison out here. Got some bighorn sheep that usually every two, three years we're doing captures on them too because they're getting to be too many. So all the wildlife does very good out here. But too many deer can cause problems. So we just don't want a, the deer to eat themselves out of house and home and then have a big crash in the population out here. Time to call in the helicopter for an unusual deer roundup. They use this technique on many animals, from deer and moose to sheep and bison. A gunner shoots a weighted net over the animal, tangling it up and tripping it to the ground. Men called muggers get to the animal quickly. They'll go down, hobble them, blindfold them, sling them, and bring them back uh, under the helicopter back to us. The deer are then airmailed to a processing station where they are loaded into slings and carried first to a weigh station. 148. Then move to a tent where volunteers and veterinarian Annette Rowe give each animal a thorough once over. My responsibility is uh, overlooking the, the health of the animal, um, that the animals are handled appropriately, that they are, to get the data on their um, well-being, like the temperatures, uh, we check for injuries, we take um, biological samples, test them for current wasting disease, we take blood samples. The blindfold, along with low voices, keep the deer calm during this stressful operation. Their temperature is monitored throughout the process to ensure they don't get overheated. The deer seem to be in great shape. It's been a mild winter, plenty of feed. Each gets a radio collar so their movements can be tracked. The youngest volunteers, including seven-year-old Kimber McFarland and Joey Jensen, are duly impressed. They're cool. Yeah, why? Because I get to pet them. 100 deer will be captured, processed, and moved in horse trailers to their new home in southern Utah. The other part is, is it gives us an opportunity to move these deer to other parts of the state and kind of boost the populations in those areas. So. Diversify the genetics and, uh, and around the state as well. Sure. While general hunting is not allowed on Antelope Island, it is in the area where these animals will wind up. Miles Moretti is a former wildlife biologist and current president of the Utah Mule Deer Foundation. This, oh, hold on this deer. By transplanting these deer off Antelope Island, we're going to be able to restore deer populations across the state. The division's done a great job of improving wildlife habitat, and now we just need some deer for that to put back into those areas. And so um, we're going to see great results in the next three to five years here, and hopefully this will be um, great for our, our sportsmen in the future. These animals are headed for Mount Dutton in Garfield County, just north of Bryce Canyon. It's an area known for its big elk, but it has plenty of room for more deer. Restein at your leisure on Antelope Island. Hey guys, if you liked that video, you're going to want to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're going to want to like it, you're going to want to share it, and you're going to want to subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're going to want to do, click, right? Click, click, click. on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you going to sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you want to click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.